Hi there, so my name is Carol and today I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator uh, to work along with the Silhouette Studio software because somehow I just never got the plugin to work. So this is how I use both of the softwares to cut whatever custom designs I want. So of course you need, the, you need Adobe Illustrator, any version is okay, and the Silhouette Studio to work. So here we go. Okay, so I'm, I've got my logo. I'm currently using Adobe Illustrator CS6. And the first thing you've got to do is you've got to outline your text. Uh, otherwise, the Silhouette software will not be able to read it. If you don't know how to create outlines out of your text, it's super easy. You just go to the text tool, type any word. So in my case, I'm just going to retype the word geek. And there's no need for me to resize the font because I'm going to outline that. So I'm going to go to the type menu and I'm going to create outlines. You've got the keyboard shortcut right there if you just want to use that. And ta-da! So now it's a shape no longer editable text. So that's how you do that. Anyways, I'm going to keep on going. Okay, so anyways, once that you've already outlined your artwork, all you need to do is, I'm going to select my artwork. Um, I'm going to press D in my keyboard to set the default colors to a white fill color and a black stroke color, one point. There you go. And if I zoom in, I will see that the letters are separate shapes, so I want to unite that, so I, my whole word is just one shape. So I'm going to click to select, and I'm going to go to the window menu, Pathfinder, and I'm just going to move this to the side. I've got my panel here. I'm going to click on the Unite button. There you go. So now it's just one shape, and I'm going to do that for my G and my C. Maybe it will work. Eh. Well, anyways. And I'm going to do the same thing with my glasses right here. So I'm going to click, set the default colors to be white fill color, black stroke, there you go. And otherwise, um, you won't be able to export this. So anyways, now I'm going to make sure that it's completely ungrouped, because once more, if it's not ungrouped, then the Silhouette software will not be able to read this. So I'm super checking everything. Because that means everything's completely ungrouped. You know, I'm picky like that. So anyways, now I'm going to click on the File menu, Export. And I'm going to export my file to be a DXF file. I'm going to save it right here. There you go, it's an AutoCAD file. Ta-da, and I'm going to rename that. So Geek, Chick, Logo, and I always like to add the word Cut at the end, or Corte, because I also do this in Spanish. And I'm going to click Export. Okay, so once you click Export, you will get this um, window right here. Don't worry about the scaling options. It's completely optional. You don't need them. Don't worry about it. Just click OK. And it's going to take a while for it to export your file according to your computer. So I'm going to go to my Silhouette uh, Studio software. And you can either open that, but I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to drag my file and drop. Mm, there you go. So I saved it right here. See? That's how it looks. And I'm going to click and drag. And you will get a preview. If it's well done, if there's nothing in group, then voila, you've got your exported um, file from Illustrator to the Silhouette Studio software, and now it's, you are able to cut this. And you can resize it, you can turn it around if you want. And right now, it's just one uh, grouped shape or artwork. I'm going to zoom in. But if you want, you can even ungroup that. Right click, ungroup. I'm going to ungroup this. And maybe you just want to move around the glasses. So I'm going to select the glasses, click and drag, and I'm going to right click. Or I use my shortcut, which is Command G to group. And there you go. You can 
work with that separately. You can move it around. Maybe you want to use that with different color papers. So I hope this was useful. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!